I don't care what they say. December 6th, it's winter where we are. Water temperature is 39 degrees. We had snow this past week. But good news is when we're small bow fast fishing on a river system, actually reservoir river system, you know, if you look down below, you're gonna see a promo code for Bybee Tackle. Here's why I love these guys. Tackle owners are a dime a dozen, but once we actually fish, actually know what they're doing, like you say, they're kind of a rare breed. These guys, the owners of Bybee Tackle, are out here with me in these frigid conditions, high 40 to 4 degrees with strong east winds, and right now it's a whopping 37 degrees. Jerk bait again. But he's a smallmouth bass. Oh yeah, he's a good fish. Not a bad fish at all. Tell me, Greg, are you having a blast with smallmouth bass? We're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Nice job. Tell, you, tell me what you're doing here. You're casting out in the middle of this river. So we're fishing the middle of the river here, but what we have is a uh, kind of a flat run and some current over the top and it's kind of rolling their bait and uh, food over the back end of it and they kind of sit on the low end of it. So they're kind of lazy, like you and I would be today if it was cold. You want to warm up when it's cold, hook into a smallmouth. It's really no shock that Greg came out here and caught several on a jerk bait. Two years ago we went out together and we got a video, a link to that is coming up uh, right now on him kicking them in the fall with a jerk bait and I'm telling you he showed some incredible patience. So We're gonna pull up and kind of drink down a little bit. Right at the boat. That's I got one. Oh got it dude. Oh man. <laughs> oh that's a decent one. Yes sir. <laughs> so he's saying the shatter there. You see what I'm talking about? These guys are actual fishermen. They own Bite Me Tackle which is a national company. But yeah, here he is out here throwing jerk base things they don't carry or make themselves because they're fishermen. That's why you gotta respect them. Greg, how important is current in the winter for smallmouth bass? Oh, uh, well, it's just all about getting the food put to them or, you know, they don't want too much current, but yet they, they want to still be sluggish when they're not wanting to actively feed. So, you know, like what we're catching them on here, uh, as far as like eddies go, um, overlays behind flats, just stuff like that's what they kind of want to, I think, stay on as far as letting the food come to them or just live around the food. Right here the boat. Nice. Yeah. Is that a good one? Yeah. There's a three pounder. Yeah. Now we're having a blast with smallmouth bass. Woo! Well, the fish are here because of shatter here. Mm -hmm. But um, mainly, just kind of a good area for the current to bring the fish to them. You know, they're they're wanting to be lazy too right now. So I know the scene to the right is six foot. Don't put that back yet. To the right, six foot. Left to about twelve foot. And we're sort of sitting right here in the middle. You do us all a favor. We need some more friends. We get a little lonely on Instagram once in a while. So our links to our uh, all of our social media are below. Give us a follow, and we'll follow you back. We can be friends. There he comes. We're having a blast this moment, fast. Now you know what that is. Ned rig, but better yet, that's you recognize that that head there, Brad? You bet. You bet that's bait we tackle bait. There it is. Jackpot. So I use all my nids. Living up to its name. Yeah, so we're just fishing a seawall right now, actually, with current, and I'm just letting that thing drift down along the the current. And that was sweet little baby. Couldn't resist the jackpot. Nice. Holy shit. Hey, there we are. Got going on there, Brad? Yeah. Yeah, I see the color. That's some all my bass. That's it. That's it. 
What kind of hook is that, Brad? We got the, we're throwing the hunter head right now. Hunter head, that's a nice little, kind of a weed guard where you're fishing a river like this. Bet. Perfect. Awesome. Outstanding. I think you can see how the weather I'm dawned in, and we are in horrible conditions, but you can still see, you can catch smallmouth bass in the winter on reservoirs, on uh, rivers. Current's important, but so is being diverse with a number of different baits. The most fish were caught by, by Greg with his jerk bait. Uh, I think that was by design because no one told me to pack any jerk baits. <laughs> I mean, we also caught fish on swim baits, we also caught fish on A rigs, Ned rigs, and again, everything we use is in the description below. Oh, talk about having a blast with some all bass. I think he feels a lot bigger than he is. We got the Alabama rig, and you talk about the hunter heads, Brad. Well, my A rig's got nothing. The right. hunter heads on there. Everything, everything we've done today has been current oriented. A lot of cuts up, uh, break. I say cuts. I'm talking about the contours change and the currents coming through there. We catch a smallmouth bass, December 6, 40 degree water. The weather is fantastic. These guys pick the best days on the planet to go fishing. They also make the best products. Everything we're using, by the way, links to it are down below. Very nice. Very nice. Another thing you probably didn't see too much in videos is that we moved a lot. Keep moving around, trying to narrow down where those fish are. Uh, Greg kept using his side imaging. Side, kept using side imaging looking for shad and also bass on there. And we finally narrowed a few down. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you in the water.